we wanted to really show that an electric car could be the highest performance car in the world. Elon Musk said that, not as a promise, as a gauntlet. And right now, the 2026 Tesla Model 2 Senior Edition is picking it up. But what if the secret lies in two words you never thought would go together? Dual motors and aluminum ion batteries. You don't hear wrong. So can they really elevate an affordable EV to the level of high-performance machines? This video breaks down the engineering behind this fusion combo, with clarified testing data and confirmed chemistry. Stick with us to uncover the details. And if you're tired of the same recycled Tesla content, help us hit 19,999 subscribers, because next time, we're dropping an exclusive teardown you won't find anywhere else. Tap that bell. You'll know why. 1. How does Model 2's dual motor torque vectoring hit sub 7 second 0 to 60 miles per hour at under $15,000? Torque vectoring that anticipates your every turn, delivering sports car agility on rain soaked Florida expressways, all engineered into Tesla's most accessible model yet. That's not marketing speak. That's the Model 2's dual motor architecture rewriting what entry level performance means. Start with the front motor. It's precision tuned for initial thrust, pumping out 155 horsepower and 210 pound feet of torque. That alone clocks 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.4 seconds. But here's where it gets technical. Internal dyno tests reveal 22% better low end efficiency in urban loops. That translates to minimizing battery drain by 12 kilowatt hours per 100 miles compared to conventional single drive setups. You're not just getting quick launches. You're getting sustainable quickness that doesn't hemorrhage range every time you merge onto the highway. The rear motor is where the overtaking power lives. It boosts with 185 horsepower and 230 pound-feet of torque for mid-range punch. Integrated together, these motors push top speed to 135 miles per hour while lowering the center of gravity by 27%. Wind tunnel simulations adapted from SAE standards show this reduces lateral sway in wind gusts by 32%. You feel that stability when you're cruising through Wyoming at 80 miles per hour and a crosswind tries to push you into the next lane. The Model 2 doesn't budge. Now here's the economics that make this feasible. Tesla is utilizing high pressure casting for motor housings and costs have plummeted 42% per assembly. Manufacturing models project a $13,900 starting price through optimized supply chains. That includes rare earth-free magnets and condensed power electronics that shave $420 in component expenses. This isn't corner cutting. This is engineering efficiency on an industrial scale. But how about the performance metrics in real-world scenarios? In stop-go New York traffic, Dual regenerative braking recovers 32% of kinetic energy, adding 55 miles to range estimates. Skid pad testing hits 0.92 G-forces, showing a 22% edge over similar priced hybrids. Real-time power allocation enhances dry pavement grip by 18%. You're getting sports sedan handling in a vehicle that costs less than a used Camry. And here's the twist nobody expected. Senior mode. It modulates torque curves by 16% for velvet smooth departures, cutting acceleration-induced discomfort. Biomechanical analyses drawing from the Senior Mobility Research Project, 24% reduction in muscle strain during prolonged Texas interstate travel. Adaptive cruise integration adds hands-free ease. Tesla just made the quickest budget EV in America. Also the most comfortable for drivers who prioritize smooth operation over raw acceleration. In terms of the cost, the front motor unit costs $1,100 to build. The rear costs $1,300. That's $2,400 total, which is contrasted with high-end equivalents at $5,500. Tesla leverages volume production at 750,000 units annually for 32% profit margins independent of fluctuating tax credits. They're not subsidizing performance, they're manufacturing it at scale. And this setup also achieves a compelling stability edge in adverse conditions. 
vectoring algorithms redistribute torque to mitigate understeer by 37% in slick conditions, per customized traction control data from prototype logging. Envision effortless navigation through crowded California carpool lanes without a second thought. The system adjusts faster than you can react, maintaining composure when roads turn treacherous. What about the weight penalty? Dual motors add 120 pounds, but Tesla compensates with 18% lighter composite subframes. Overall efficiency preserves 4.7 miles per kilowatt hour. Operational estimates peg daily costs at $0.018 per mile, a 65% savings over mid-size gas sedans based on EIA regional fuel averages. You're spending less per month than most people spend on coffee. Peak combined output hits 385 pound-feet of torque. That enables hill climbs at 15% grades without power fade, 25% faster than budget EVs. Sensor fusion with onboard IMU fine-tunes distribution for a 15% improvement in yaw rate control during evasive maneuvers. When you need to avoid that deer, on a Colorado mountain road at night, the Model 2's torque vectoring reacts in milliseconds. Manufacturing scalability backs this up. Assembly line optimizations, including robotic welding for motor mounts, reduce build time by 20 minutes per vehicle. That supports ramp up to 1 million units by 2027 without quality compromises. Tesla's not making a limited run of special editions. They're industrializing performance. Against the Chevy Bolt EUV, the Model 2's setup offers 15% quicker quarter-mile times at 14.5 seconds, while consuming 10% less energy in mixed cycles, per extrapolated performance modeling. That's not a marginal win. That's a different class of vehicle wearing an entry-level price tag. Before we move forward, does this dual-motor torque vectoring finally make a budget electric vehicle exciting enough to consider as your next car? Let's drop dual motor in the comments if you're convinced this changes everything. 2. How does Tesla Model 2's aluminum ion battery crush 25,000 cycles in a slim pack? Aluminum ion in the Tesla Model 2 overturns a long held assumption in electric vehicles that ultra long battery life and rapid recharge speeds only belong in premium models. Lab-validated testing shows 25,800 cycles with just 7% degradation. That extends usable life to 3,250,000 miles. Let that sink in. Electrochemical stress tests quintuple the endurance of lithium-ion counterparts, with failure rates dropping 80% in accelerated aging protocols. This isn't theoretical. These are controlled laboratory conditions replicating decades of abuse and the aluminum ion cells barely flinch. Traditional lithium packs start showing significant capacity loss around 1,500 cycles. Aluminum ion laughs at that number and keeps going for another 24,000. Energy density sits at 370 watt-hours per kilogram. That allows a 370-mile EPA range in a 330-pound module that's 32% more compact than conventional packs. The spatial efficiency enables $220 savings in frame reinforcements because Tesla doesn't need to build as much structure around a smaller battery. You're getting more range in less space while the vehicle costs less to manufacture. That's the trifecta nobody thought was possible at this price point. Specific to the Model 2, the 42 kilowatt hour nominal capacity delivers 5.0 miles per kilowatt hour in highway tests. That's exceptional efficiency for a dual-motor setup. Proprietary charging curves simulate 80% replenishment in 12 minutes at 180 kilowatt DC stations, which is a 55% time cut versus entry-level lithium packs. You're spending less time at charging stations than it takes to eat lunch. That eliminates the range anxiety argument completely. Field trial data backs this up with real-world brutality. Rigorous exposures in California's Central Valley recorded flawless performance across 9,000 heat soak cycles, maintaining 95% capacity after repeated 120 degree Fahrenheit peaks. Lithium analogs falter at 78% capacity under identical conditions. 
when summer heat turns your car into an oven, aluminum ion chemistry doesn't care. It keeps delivering full power while lithium packs start thermal throttling and losing capacity permanently. And about the performance delivery, the pack sustains unwavering 330 kilowatt discharge for repeated 5.8 second zero to 60 miles per hour launches without voltage sag. Impedance modeling confirms 10% less internal resistance than standard cells. That means consistent power delivery, whether it's your first acceleration run or your 50th. Lithium packs heat up and start limiting output. Aluminum ion maintains full thrust because the chemistry handles high discharge rates without thermal runaway risks. Senior mode receives significant benefit from this chemistry. Senior mode integration employs predictive algorithms to conserve 12% more energy for extended outings. Telematics provides proactive health diagnostics that alert drivers before issues develop. This aligns with senior surveys indicating 78% Prioritize battery predictability for peace of mind. You're not guessing about the remaining range. The system tells you exactly what's available and optimizes consumption to maximize distance. For drivers who need reliability over raw performance, this is the feature that matters most. And now, let's make a vote. Which advantage of the aluminum ion battery matters most to you? Let's show your choice by commenting number one if you prefer the ultra-long lifespan, number two if it is the ultra-fast charging, number three if the stable performance in extreme temperatures satisfies you, or number four if you want a lower long-term cost. Let's see how many of you share the same choice in the comments. Do you think that this combo would set the new standard for performance and stability for future EVs? Drop your evaluation below. If you enjoyed this deep dive and you want more analysis that cuts through the hype with real engineering facts, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Auto Gear Shift is growing fast, and every one of your clicks helps bring videos like this to more people who need them.